Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting updates of a couple of bodybuilders, but we are starting with Samson Daura, who is 12 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and he just posted his physique update, and I gotta tell you, he looks freaking amazing. Now, this guy is my favorite to win the Mr. Olympia. Do I believe that he is the front runner, that he has the best chances of winning it? I would say no, I think Derek and probably Hadi are still that top two, but if somebody is gonna upset the lineup and win the Mr. Olympia, it's gonna be Samson, and personally, the way he's shaped, the way he has, the way his structure is, the way his genetics are, I would love to see that. That's my favorite physique of today, of, of modern bodybuilding. So I want to see Samson do well, but based on this physique update, do I think he's going to win the Mr. Olympia? Yeah, I think it's very possible. I don't think, I, I don't see why not. I think he's going to be top three. Yeah, I see him beating Brandon Curry. I see him beating Big Ram, as he already did. And then we're gonna have a rematch against Nick Walker. And Nick, I mean, I, I think he's very, very hungry. I think we're gonna see the best of Nick by far. So it's gonna be a nasty battle between these, these two guys again. But can he leap that much forward and like beat both Derek and Hadi? It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. If I was a batting man, I would still bet on probably on Derek. But I do think Samson has a legit chance. I think anybody out of that top four has a chance of winning the Mr. Olympia. Hadi again, Derek, Samson or Nick. I think we can all agree that Big Ramy's best days are in the past. I don't think he can recover his physique to back, back to what it was. Uh, as far as Brandon Curry, I mean, he's amazing. And I, I think last year the reason why he didn't place higher was mainly his conditioning. But he was blasting full, though wasn't conditioned enough. However, I think this year the new guys, these new guys are going to surpass him that much. That he can't really be in that top four again. I think the other guys are more complete. They have better legs. And I don't think Curry can battle against them with those legs. So with such a big uh, genetic weakness. As far as everybody else, like Hunter Labrada, Andrew Jack, maybe Carlos Thomas Jr., maybe Goodwito, maybe uh, Michael Crijo, as far as all these guys, can somebody else, you know, crack that top four and beat any of these four guys this year? I don't see it. I mean, anything is possible, but let's be realistic. I think Samson is gonna be in that top four for sure. Can he beat Nick again? If Nick brings something insane, we'll see. Can he beat Hadi and Derek? It's also possible. I think anybody in that top four can win the Mr. Olympia. My personal favorite is this guy right here. I mean, look at his freaking physique. It's so beautiful. Like, he has so much muscle on such a big frame with big, huge arms, with small waist, with classic lines, and all this mass just flows so well. I hope he's going to nail the conditioning this time, and that he's going to be improved once again, as he always is for the past couple of years, since he's working with Milos. From show to show, he shows up like a new bodybuilder. So, if he does that and he comes in good conditioning, it's very, very possible that he's going to be the new Mr. Olympia champion. Since we are on the subject of awesome genetics, we got another Mr. Olympia contender in classic physique, Stefan Matala. He finally got his Mr. Olympia qualification. I think last show he did was a pro debut. He lost against some bodybuilder who made the weight. I think he was a 212 bodybuilder who made the weight in classic and he was uh, more conditioned, he was harder, he was uh, like fuller when he carved up and like he looked bigger, he looked like better in bodybuilding criteria, but I don't think he deserved to win that show, I, I think Stefan deserved to win his pro debut, because I, I mean I hope that's how the judging is, I hope the judges are actually looking for the aesthetics, for the classic shape and the lines, and I mean look at it, compare these two guys, I mean Stefan has one of the best genetics in the world, really, as far as classic physique goes. I guess the only way this makes sense to me is because they wanted to punish him for not bringing the best conditioning. Like, you're not gonna win shows if you don't show up conditions. So better fix that, or you're gonna keep losing against the less classic or genetically gifted guys, which I think is fair for less genetically gifted guys uh, who, who work harder. So in that sense, it's okay. But really, Stefan Matala needs to be on that Mr. Olympia stage. And if his conditioning is better, 
And as you can see, it was definitely improved at this show, Sheru Classic. If it is even more improved for the Mr. Olympia, because everybody up there is super, super shredded. He needs to be like peeled completely. If he is peeled and if he improves a little bit, he can be a serious contender. I mean, I can see this guy being in like top six for sure. I mean, look at his freaking genetics, look at his shape, and look at the completeness, that's like the interesting thing about him, like, he doesn't really lack anything, I mean, he has pretty much everything with beautiful shape, so the only thing that he can really change between now and the Mr. Olympia is, like, try and come in even crispier, I don't know if he can do it, because he's really shredded here, but maybe he can come in, I don't know, a little bit harder, maybe, like, uh, get those legs to be a little bit fuller and rounder from the front, and, I mean, that's about it. Uh, like, work on presentation, and with his genetics, with his shape, I can see this guy being one of the top classic physique Olympians. Yeah. Alright, so next up, we got another physique update of Regan Grimes, who has become really freaking active on social media lately. He was AWOL for a while there, but he's back now, and uh, he's showing a lot of his physique as his conditioning is improving, and every time we see him, he looks more shredded, he looks harder, he looks drier. So yeah, I have no more worries about his conditioning, it looks like this is going to be his best conditioning so far. I underestimated his, uh, his metabolism and Milos' plan as well, I thought he was gonna be in not great shape, but it seems like he's going to be in the best shape of his life. Do I think he's going to be improved from past uh, showings? Maybe a little bit, but not as much as I would like to see him, but yeah, I think he's going to be a little bit tighter, a little bit harder, a little bit more complete, a little bit improved on certain areas. Check out this photo as well, so for 4 weeks out, as you can see, his conditioning is very good, very very good, and he's really hard and like pretty full as well, and so we are left with one question, can he win Europa Pro, can he beat Good Vito and Nathan Diasha both? I mean, those two guys are competing, which makes this show pretty, pretty good, pretty hard show to win for anybody, not just Regan Grimes. So, can Regan do it? Oof, I don't know, man, it's gonna be tough. It's possible, though, because, look, if, let's say, Nathan, he doesn't bring his absolute best, because he was away for a while, like, maybe he, maybe his age is catching up with him, maybe he's gonna be 80, 90% of his best, let's, I mean, let's imagine that. And let's imagine that Good Vito is not gonna look that good as he looks on his Instagram. Maybe he's not gonna look that good on stage. Maybe that umbilical hernia of him is gonna hurt him. So if that happens and Regan is like super shredded and he's improved, you know, through the, through the quads mainly and through the chest, he comes in super full, destroys everybody with the back shots, then yeah, it's not impossible. I can see him winning that show and qualifying for the Mr. Olympia with that first attempt, it's not impossible, I can see that now, what do you guys think, do you think he's gonna win, well, let me actually show you what good Vito is looking right now, because he also posted a physique update, conditioning is improved, for sure, since the last time we saw him, so he's getting leaner, each time we see him, he's even more shredded, so that's not a worry, I used to worry about whether he's gonna bring conditioning, because before, when he was an amateur, he wasn't really known for his conditioning, and he didn't have to bring crazy conditioning, because he was always so much bigger than everybody else, not just in NPC amateur, but also in his previous federation where he used to compete, but now he's gonna be dancing with the big boys, and he needs to bring crazy conditioning if he wants to do well, and he has the muscle, the conditioning as you can see is definitely improving every time we see him, so in four weeks, he's going to be super peeled, and he's maintaining the size, he's not losing anything, as I would expect he wouldn't, because he has so much muscle on his crazy frame. Now, the other concern about uh, Good Vito would be his legs after that knee injury, but as you can see, his legs are fine, both of his legs are looking good, so whatever happened to his knee is uh, fine now, you can't even see the crutches in the background in this physique update, so I'm sure he's healed, uh, I'm sure it wasn't as bad as we all thought, so yeah, he's fine, his legs are still one of his best body parts, he's huge, he's bringing conditioning, the only problem that I can see here is that um, umbilical hernia that I already mentioned, I don't know how much can that hurt him, I don't think it's as distracting as a gyno, for example, so, or like a bubble gut, 
No, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's gonna hurt him a little bit, but not too much. If he destroys these two guys, he can win the show. Yeah, he's not gonna place lower because of that. I don't think so. I don't think... I mean, like, Gaino, it's really distracting, but it's not about how distracting it is. I think it's literally like a rule these days, as well as the bubble gut. If you have one of those things, you're gonna be marked down for it. Simple as that. Back in the day when these things started to happen, uh, when they weren't uh, as criticized as they are these days, they weren't, the guys weren't really punished for having gyno, for having bubble guts, right? And now these days they are, like really, really a lot. So everybody's trying to fix that. And, um, you know, as far as umbilical hernias, nobody's really talking about that. If it is like looking horrible to distract the judges, to, to really notice it, to really take away from his physique, then yeah, he's gonna lose some points for that, but not that much. I don't think so. So like overall, good Vito, I think he has a really good chance of winning this show. If I was a batting man, I guess I would bat on Nathan Diasha because the guy has like eight pro wins and he competed like two years ago, so it wasn't that long. Good Vito is like a completely new guy, so I don't know what to expect from him. He's a wild card here, really. He looks crazy in all of his Instagram shots, but we never saw him on stage against the top guys. And as far as Regan, the question is how much did he improve? He was always like you know, mid-tier bodybuilder, like third-tier bodybuilder, he was never like the top, top echelon, and Nathan was, Nathan was like, I think, sixth or seventh at the Mr. Olympia, so, you know, it's gonna be a definitely an interesting show, three great physiques, I can't wait to see it in four weeks, whatever you guys think was gonna win that show, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you guys are enjoying my content and you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe, like the channel, and if you want to support me, you want to support this channel and help me make all this awesome content for you guys, you can do that by clicking on the link in the description of this video and just trying any of the old school lab supplements you want or you need. And I'm telling you, they're all top quality. And if you use the code EVAN, you get a 15% discount and I get something from it as well. So guys, thank you for all your support. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.